You know, when I embarked on this mission nearly four years ago now of becoming like a positivity influencer or just trying to be that positive impact that I thought the world needed, I never expected the journey to one, be this challenging, but two, just be the most eye-opening life experience of my life so far. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm only 20. I act like I know all the answers, I know all the advice and that sort of thing, and I don't. I just talk from my experience of what's happened to me in the past and experiences I've been through. I had times in the past where I debated, was it even worth it fighting all the negativity and hate of the real on online world? And to this day I say 100% yeah, because everything I've been through has shaped me into who I am today. It's led me to who I am now and to the values and beliefs and just to the position where I am today, so. You know when you get a new haircut, for example, or you get new clothes and you get so many people saying to you, you look awesome. Then you might get the one person here and there that might say, oh, that's shit, oh, that's stupid, I don't like it, whatever. And naturally our brains go towards that more so the positives. And when I set off on this journey four years ago, I wanted to change the way people think, including myself, about instead of thinking on the negatives, think on the positives. And that's what I try to do now. It's what I try to express in these videos, just focus on the positives. And I honestly don't want to get to the end of my life and think of the things that I did wrong, think of regret. Instead, all I want to do is think of the positives. I want to think of the memories and the amazing things you did. So if I were to ever get questioned by someone saying, was this worth it? Was embarking on this mission of making the world a better place, making the world a nicer place, was it worth it? Even after everything I've been through, I would still say yes. Because at the end of the day, the values that this has taught me, that it's not easy, and there's a reason that our minds naturally think of the negatives rather than the positives. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I'm really positive, because I'm not, I'm actually quite a negative thinker. But that's okay, because that is natural, like I said. Because I used to be that guy that was just, oh, what if this happens, what if this happens, what if this happens? Instead of thinking, what if happens, what if happens, what if happens? And now, whenever an opportunity comes around to me, in fact, in these last 10 years of doing YouTube, when an opportunity has come around to me, it's so easy to think, oh, I best not just in case this happens. But I look back and I think, thank God at the times in my life, I said, yes, do it. Take the risk, take the risk. And not all the times it's gone right. And that's fine because you wouldn't want it to. If everything went perfect for you, that's not life. Life is about things go wrong and you make it right. And where not everything goes to plan, but you find a new route, you find some different way of doing it. I make these videos to try make people just have that same vision of me where there's more people out there who just do what makes them happy. Just take a risk because you don't know what the option could hold. You don't know what the outcome can hold. Sometimes it's amazing, sometimes it's not. Not everything is gonna be a success, but if not, in fact, I take that back. Everything can be a success because if something goes wrong and you learn from it, you learn not to make that mistake again, not to do that again, not to go that way again. And if it goes right, then it goes right. You get what you want. Life is completely in our control. And I sound like a fucking, and I'm not trying to be a fucking preacher, even though that may seem like it. I'm honestly just trying to speak open-mindedly because being out in the open, away from social media, just makes you see the bigger picture. It just makes you not think so fucking anxiously and, and sad about shit. There's so much out there and there's so much potential. And I've done so much in this fucking YouTube journey because I, when I was nine years old, I picked up a camera and said, yeah, do it. And I've done fucking loads from then. And none of it's been perfect at all. There's been horrible times. There's been times where I honestly was so close to ending my life, but I carried on. There's more out there than just a temporary emotion. A quote that I, I really live by is the fact that everything ends and it is always sad, but then everything begins again and it's always happy. I got that from Doctor Who, like where I get all my quotes from and they've just shaped me into who I am today. And this has just been me completely just chatting loads of shit, but it's just so what I believe in. And I just hope someone listens because I'm not saying it's right, but it's worked for me, believe it or not. And even to all the people that wanted to see me fail and lose in the journey that I set out on, because there's always people that cheer when you do well. And there's always people that ask how you did it when you did well. And there's always people that ask why you did it when you don't do well, when something goes wrong. But the real truth behind it all is, how can I do it better? You know, we got one life, just don't waste it. 
because there's an opportunity out there for everyone. And if you don't take it, someone else will.